Well, you guys don't get to see my blunders. So I'm not sure which one of these videos I'm going to post yet, but I'm going to shoot another one from the start. So I just did the same fucking thing and hit the button again right as I was ending. And uh, there was one more thing I wanted to show you, so I'm going to do this again. So what I'm doing is I'm reviewing a product. We've been doing a lot of building this summer. And we've been in a lot of discussion with customers about subfloor products, flooring products on a couple of different jobs we've been doing. And I'm an Advantech fan. And I had to bring some customers over to the house to show them why. Um, you know, I have one guy who wanted the uh, GP product, the dry tech. And, um, of course, a lot of people are just, you know, oh, get me plywood. Just let's just use plywood and so on and so forth. But what that does is it puts a time clock on us when we're building something, how fast we can get closed in and keep it from getting wet. So I want to show you why I'm a fan of Advantech and to be... Um, completely transparent this is a non monetized channel I'm sponsored by no one I've never been given a product to try I've never been given a product for free I have no connection with Advantech or GP or uh, anyone else uh, we just build for ourselves uh, just hurt my arm climbing up um, had a ladder slip out from underneath me so I was sitting around on the couch and I said I want to do this video because it came to mind with the product projects that we've been doing about Advantech and some of the reviews and the testing that I saw, lab testing that I saw on some of these products that I think aren't true. Oh, there's the wife. Say hi to Kate. Hi. She's weeding. So Kate and her ex built this tree house. They call it the tree house, just a deck. Oh, this it too. I said uh, I've been with Kate for five, five and a half years. We've been married four, so they built this over five and a half years ago, probably over six years ago. Hey, Kate, how long ago did you build this? Probably like seven years ago. Seven years ago? Seven, eight years ago. Okay, so I've been here for just over five, so she says seven for the deck and... What they used was Advantech on the deck. So I'm going to show you pictures. Here's Advantech's symbol. Just so you guys don't think that I'm fucking with you. Here's their patent numbers. If you want to look up the product, you can see the little nailing spacers and stuff on it. Just standard Advantech. I don't know if they call it a weather guard or whatever, but... Um, It's a lifetime warranty. Oh yeah, that's it right there. So you can see it, lifetime warranty. You can see the standard R rating. Vantex, uh, I think it is called Vantex flooring, just so that uh, you know I'm not fucking with you. And we're gonna go up top and I'll show you what a deck that's, this is fucking, guys, this is OSB. In New England, we're on Cape Cod, out in the weather, unprotected from, it's unprotected from the sun, the wind, the rain, the snow, the ice, 365 days a year, and I'll show you what a Vantech looks like after seven years in the weather. Not on your floor in your house, in the weather. And the only thing I've built on this is these stairs, because her ex kind of had a ladder in here, so I actually put stairs in. And this is what the deck looks like after seven years. Now it's painted, okay? I'll show you in a second. It's just standard paint. Um, I'll stomp around on it to prove that it's solid and I'm not falling through it. Hopefully you can hear that. I can hear a little squeaking over here. I'm going to be completely transparent too. I'm not going to try and hide anything. I hear a little squeaking over here. And get, I'll show you this seam between these two. Now, if you look over right where my fingertip is, I can see a little teeny raise up right there. I'll show you the exposed edge around the outside so you can see what it looks like. This is a good view because you can see how straight it is. 
So if there's big swelling and separation, you'd be able to see it from this view because this is the outside exposed edge. There's nothing on it. And I'll show you what I consider the worst parts of it too. Full transparency. I got nothing to gain by doing this. So I see a little chipped away section here. It's kind of a little raised up section there. It's a little bit of damage right there. But again, this is seven years of being exposed. There's a roof. Okay, it's the roof of the house. They re-roofed this um, in this time frame. There's more damage to these shingles. And I have shingles coming off this, this roof of this garage. It's more damage to these shingles, the asphalt shingles, than there is to this. This is a Vantec painted exposed to the elements 365 days a year for seven years. Let's get down here. Hope I don't push that stupid button again. This is the third video I've done. So here's the tongue and groove right here. Um, you can see, you know, you can see a teeny little bit of raise up right here. Just to show you, it's not some special paint, you know, I can, or epoxy or something that seals it 150%. You know, I can peel it off with my finger right here. This is nothing, you know, nothing crazy special. So, yeah, see across the deck, see what you can see for flat across the deck. You know, and this is just a, you know, big structure just sitting on top of a Norway maple that they had to have cut down. We're building another one over there where you can see that tree. I'm climbing this tree and taking it down piece by piece and we're gonna build another deck over there. Right past my finger right now is where I took that one down. That's gonna be the height. So, yeah, so that's the exposed edge after seven years out in the elements of Avantech. I'm going to show you one more thing. Because just in case somebody's going to call me a liar or something, um, I took a piece of offcut from this deck that was in the garage, and I had to build myself a table, a router table for outside. And it ended up getting trans... Uh, this was four years ago. And it ended up getting transformed into an outfeed table from my log splitter just because it happened to be the same height so as you can see right here this is uh my log splitter and it's the same height so i can put logs on this and because i don't have any way to hold them here I step back so it makes more sense but there's uh they sell little metal cradles that go on both sides i hadn't bought them yet so i use this and this was my router table and here's my router pattern for one of my routers. I have five of them. And um, this was where the recessed bolts would, screws would go in. You could get the bit up to the height you want and run stuff across this. This Avantech is four years old. It's, long, it's older than four years old. Let's say it's whenever they built that, seven years old. And this has got no paint on it. This is out in the sun. It's sunny out right now. On the Cape uh, rain snow ice everything for four years with nothing protecting it I put on a little cart um, can't remember what else was on this before but there was something else on this before we put little wheels on the bottom so we could roll it around the driveway and it ended up becoming this uh, but I'm gonna flip it over so that you can see it's got the same patents on it if I can move my arm here So, you can see all the uh, information on the bottom here. It was uh, it's just an OSB, this is just an off cut from that. Totally unprotected. Hammer on it here, prove it's still solid. I'll show you the edge. show you this edge over here just because it's in the light good so you can see it as you can see there's been no major separating or anything like that and that's you know if you're worried about getting your uh, you got you put your subfloor down in the project that you're doing you're worried about getting rain on it before the roof goes on this has been out here for four years folks outside so 
there's a little piece of string up on there, so I don't think that's warping, but it's a little bit low in the middle as I look down. It's not exactly perfectly flat, but it's in real good shape. That's a Vantec outside for four years. An OSB product. That's a Vantec painted outside in the elements for seven. I wonder if I may have some plywood over here. I have some plywood I made into stickers for see we mill lumber. Part of what we do. Um, I had some plywood that I cut up for stickers for my lumber. And most of it, I wish I could just find a piece. This is what plywood looks like even after a year or two outside, even if it's under wood. Okay, this is what plywood looks like. And this was pressure treated plywood. That's why I used it for stickers. Oh, you can see one right there. Um, so yeah, there's a piece of the... It was like half inch pressure treated plywood. This is what it looks like. This is what the weather does to it. So as I take slabs out of here, people come pick them up. This is what it this is what the plywood ends up looking like. And this is just um, no more than two years old stickers that look just like that. Pressure treated, half inch. This is what they look, this is what the weather does to them. That's a Vantech. So I've been dying to do this video just because we got in the discussion with customers this summer about the product and versus the uh, the Gorilla Glue product too. And full disclosure, it looks the Gorilla Glue Glue Gorilla Glue. Let me make sure I don't hit a button. Product looks like a good product, similar to a Vantech, and I've never used it, so I can't give you a review on that. But I can give you a review. On the Avantech. So, some of these other reviews that I've seen are just up. Uh, they, they just got to be crazy bullshit because they're just not right. I mean, you can see the water damage and stuff just from what gets through. There's a bee beehive up there. But you see how solid it is and how good a shape it's in after seven years. Totally exposed. So, and you can see that one even after four years with no paint on it, totally exposed. So I've been kind of dying to do this and um, it's going to be it. Hope you guys are having a great day and uh, if you build stuff, um, just build it right. Do your research and build it right. <coughs> I have no skin in the game as far as telling you what to use, but that's been my experience. Hope this helps.